Sergeant sighted. We need a plan. Agreed. Oscar, you take the south. Carrie, we'll run the perimeters. I've got a better idea. You two can wait there. I'm going over the top. Oscar, no. Oscar! Thought I'd drop in and say hi. Oscar, we had a plan! We're meant to work as a team, remember? You've been spying on MI9. Why? Fine. Have it your way. Now move. Wait! Nice try. The Skull Academy. What's that? What do you think? It's where they train kids to be Skull agents. The 21st century faces a new kind of threat. Old school spies have had their day, and MI9 must create a new breed of skilled undercover agent. Hidden in a place no villain will think to look. Welcome to MI High. Sounds like someone has got a bag of spanners and a drum kit and thrown the whole lot down the stairs. I'd say that was a tad harsh. And besides, I need to practice for tonight. Why? Are you torturing? <laughs> it's my accordion recital, remember? A whole evening of Boldovian folk music. A whole evening? Yes. And I hope everyone's bringing their families along too. This is the first I've heard of it. So your foster parents are coming? They're cool, but they're not. Um... Anyway. I think they're busy. Oh, wait, wait, this next one's a, a funeral march in A minor. <laughs> it's my big finish. You've always got to go it alone, haven't you? I caught the skull agent, didn't I? I. There's no I in MI... The point is, MI9 is based on teamwork, communication, and not playing the big I am. A thank you would have been nice. The Grand Master's training school kids to be skull agents. Hmm? It needs to be stopped. The plan's simple. We send one of you in to join the Academy. Well, that sounds like a job for the great Osk Mundo. Well, actually, we're thinking of sending in Agent Gupta on this occasion. What? But Oscar's so much better undercover than I am. Don't worry. It's his way of punishing me. And he's worried I'll turn bad, like my mum. Look, now, nobody said that. You didn't have to. But just because mum betrayed everyone... And Oscar is the logical choice. I'm right behind him. Me too. Oh. Right. Agent Cole, your mission is to infiltrate the Skull Academy. And once there, find out what you can about Operation Z-12. What's Operation Z-12? Z-12 appears repeatedly on Agent Suki's data card. Our guess is that Skull are using the Academy to plan something big. And Carrie, while Oscar's away, we want you to interrogate Agent Suki. MI9 are delivering a mobile interrogation unit to St. Hope's as we speak. Hopefully she'll tell Carrie what Operation Z-12 is. You mean in case I fail? My name's Tim Brown. I'm a thief, safecracker. I want to join Skull to learn how to rob the biggest banks in the world. Perfect. Except for these eyebrow cameras. They're cutting-edge technology. They're fitted with cameras and a microphone so you can give hourly updates. What? I'll be undercover. Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? I'm not as dangerous as sending in someone with your family. Take these gobstoppers. They release a gas that slows the body down to a snail's pace. So? You have everything you need. Everything apart from MI9's trust. From the data file, we also learned how to contact Skull. We sent them Tim Brown's CV. They were mightily impressed. To get there, we'll be picked up by two Skull henchmen. They'll scan you for bugs and then take you to the secret location. <laughs> You! Bo! 
Roy, identification. So, Tim Brown, what makes you think you've got what it takes to become a Skull agent? Because that boy over there is using a scanner to read credit cards. And that girl's using a multi-wave code breaker. Meaning, they could be hacking into the bank accounts of everyone in this school. Including yours. I'm impressed. Anita Blackwell! Anita, show Tim around. Looks like you may have some competition. So, what do you mean by competition? Don't you know anything? Scholar looking for agents to go on a brand new assignment? Operation Z12? What's Operation Z12? All I know is that only one pupil gets chosen to do it. And that person's me. Don't you forget it. Here, some coffee. Oh, and uh, some donuts. I'll give you donuts when you stop giving me answers. Now you tell me what you know about Operation Z12. Yes, the last thing we want is to see you in jail. Jail? When I'm done with you, jail will look like a five-star hotel with a daily foot massage. You do know it's meant to be good cop, bad cop, not stupid cop, even more stupid cop. Maybe I'll leave you to it. I think I'm just making her angry. By the way, you were even more stupid cop. Tim Brown, you're late. Thanks for telling me Assembly was on the other side of the school. Hey, what are friends for? I, I promise to do my worst. To be deceitful, scheming and vile. All hail the Grand Master. Look at you all, like sheep. Here, we are looking for individuals. Those brave enough to go it alone. For only the most driven will be embraced into the family of Skull. Today we continue our trials for Operation Z-12. May the most magnificent pupil win. Below you is a fate far worse than death. Only by answering correctly will you avoid it. Question one. What chemical would best dissolve a bank safe? Hydrofluoric acid. Is correct. You must now nominate a victim. A victim? You've got a problem with that, Brown? No, no. Uh, I'd nominate Liam. Question two. Name this infamous Skull Agent. Simeon Blake. Dug his way out of prison using only his teeth. Is correct. Nominate. I nominate. Jessica. At your feet are a sat-nav and DVD player. Reconfigure them into a laser weapon to hit this target Starting now. Tim Brown, you may now nominate. I nominate and it no wait. I nominate Douglas. Interesting. Statistically, Anita is your strongest opponent, and yet you did not eliminate her. Why? Well, you know what they say. Keep your friends close, and your enemies closer. Me, do you read? Oscar, you're three minutes late. I'm sorry. 
I should have asked Skull if I could talk to MI9. Sorry. It's just we saw you do that test. Yes, you sent those kids to a fate worse than death. Relax. Apparently they got sent to clean out General Flopsy's hutch for a month. <laughs> Besides, they were useless. So any news on what Z-12 is? All I know is, apparently, one of us gets chosen to do whatever it is. Wait, I think I hear someone. I told you this is crazy. He's right. Every time he reports in, we're putting him in danger. Then let's hope Carrie's having more luck. Don't tell me. More questions. Nope. Just some pictures. And I want you to relax and just tell me what each one says to you. Okay? Mmm, roast lamb and mint sauce. Ugh, one ugly screaming poo machine. And who's that frumpy looking? Wait a minute. Where did you get that picture? It's you. Aged six. What can you see, Suki? Oh, I get it. Deep down, I'm cute and innocent and... Maybe I shouldn't work for Skull. Maybe I should tell you what Operation Z-12 is. Unbelievable. Don't you have a heart? No! Don't you have any interrogation skills? Question! What is a Skull agent's best friend? It is... your field operations unit. Today you will learn how to strip and reassemble the unit in under 30 seconds. Eliminated. This test is designed to see who has the killer instinct and who does not. Yes! That's not fair. I knocked him out. He should have been out of the game. A good agent should be able to control the pain. I'll do whatever it takes to be the best. I'll do whatever it takes to be the best. It's weird. There's something in his voice, something... Ruthless. You hang around Skull long enough, and this is what happens. Rose, it's me. Do you read? Yeah, hi. How's it going? Look, I don't know any more about Operation Z-12. But reporting in every hour is impossible. It was a direct order from Chief Agent Stark. Stark's not the one with his neck on the line. Either you trust me or you don't. Oscar, it's not a case of trust. Then I'll report when I can. I know when you're lying. Oscar! Oscar! Well, at least we can see what he's up to. They're only jealous. Most of our pupils have never seen anyone of your ability. Single-minded, quick thinking. Your talents are rare. Back at my old school, Whatever I did, I seemed to get in trouble for it. Then they clearly had no idea of your potential. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was top secret. Please. I think I can trust you. The Grand Master wants to break a Skull agent out of the Moscow State Prison. And you're planning to tunnel in through the sewers. You have a problem with that? Russians use sewers to transport soldiers all over. You go in there, you're dead meat. Then thank you. I'm sure the Grand Master will be most interested. Unbelievable. Now he's helping Skull plan a mission. It's called 
being undercover. She didn't even ask for your help. Yes, you didn't have to tell her about the sewer. Thanks for the support, guys. Typical MI9. Typical MI9? You do remember what side you work for. I'm just doing things my way. At least around here they appreciate it. Okay, so, uh, you're never going to tell me what Z12 is. The first thing you've got right all day. Then something's bugging me. If you're so good, how come you let us find this data card? Something's bugging me too. If your brain's so small, then why doesn't it just roll out of those huge ears? Always oh, oh, engaged! <laughs> I give up. Yeah, that, that girl is such a... Ugh! What's the matter? It's Oscar. Something's wrong. He's just not himself anymore. We need to get him out of that academy. Only Stark won't let us until we find out about Operation Z-12. You have to find a way to make Suki talk. For Oscar's sake, find a way. Hello, everyone. About my accordion recital. Oh, honestly, if anyone actually turns up, oh. I'll dress up as a Beldovian goat herder. Anyway, I was thinking of opening with a little number entitled March of the Flatulent Wildebeest. Harry, <sighs> please. I think I've rehearsed enough. Besides, one can be overprepared. Sir, you could rehearse all day and still not get any worse. Really? <laughs> Operation Z-12. And I can now reveal the name of the successful pupil. The pupil going forward to Operation Z-12 is... Oh, all right, all right, enough! You win! Sorry, didn't quite catch that. I said you win, okay? You win! <sighs> now... Tell me what Z12 is. Z12 isn't a what. It's a who. Operation Z12 is a person. The name of the successful pupil is... Tim Brown! Yes! Get in! Congratulations, Skull Agent Brown. Hey, no hard feelings. Seriously, haven't you learned anything? What is he doing? That was such a mean thing to do. It was such a skull thing to do. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Now hang on. Let's just be thankful we're going to find out what Operation Z-12 is. Forget it. I already know. Operation Z-12 is Oscar. Think about it. Why would Suki be spying on MI9 in the first place? Skull wanted us to send him to the Academy. This whole thing was a trap to get Oscar near the Grand Master. At last, I meet the notorious Tim Brown, one of the finest students this Academy has ever produced. And ready to serve you in Operation Z-12, sir. Excellent. I need an agent who can work alone, take risks, and be answerable to no one but himself. Sounds like Oscar's dream job. Oscar would never betray MI9. Would he? But before you can appreciate the sheer genius of Operation Z-12, there is someone you should meet. 
someone who has been following your progress with great pride and joy. Hello, Oscar. Mum. It all makes sense. Skull treats Oscar like a hero, then they bring on Jay. No, but he hates her. She's betrayed him every time. And how does Oscar feel about MI9 right now? That we don't trust him. Oh, so it's my fault now, is it? I know I'm probably the last person you ever wanted to see again. There's no probably about it. But I'm hoping, given time, you'll realise how both our lives have been leading up to this moment. Honestly, will you listen to yourself? Why can't you just stay out of my life? Because you are my life. Why does he switch off his eyebrow cam? All right, that's it. I'm sending a team in to sort this mess out. Well, how? We don't even know where the academy is. Actually, I fitted a homing beacon inside Oscar's eyebrow. You see, because you didn't trust him either. No, because I never underestimate Scar. Now, come on. He needs our help. So, you knew I wasn't Tim Brown all along. Our apologies for the deception. Setting a trap for your own son. That's Lur. Even for you. I think we'll leave you and your son to talk, number one. Number one. I'm the Grand Master's right hand now. But with you beside me, even he can't stand in our way forever. What? You want to overthrow the Grand Master and you want me to help you? All I ever wanted was for us to be a family. And I know that's what you want too. I just can't trust you. Then why did I lead you here to this academy? Why go through all this if I didn't love you, Oscar? Why? Wait. Let's go. You're the best agent this academy has ever seen. Together, we can control Skull as mother and son. You want me to leave MI9? The people who've doubted you and held you back at every stage. Me and my team have been through a lot together. But they're not your family. And you've never really felt like you fit in back there. Not if you're honest. I don't know. I need time to think. Oscar, ever since your dad died for MI9, and for nothing, you've been all I have. We need each other. How does a gobstopper slow the body down? Only one way to find out. Be your so-called friends. You see, they obviously don't trust you. All your life, MI9 has told you what to do, made decisions for you. Like it's even their choice. It's not their choice. And you're right. None of them respect me. Then what are you saying? I'm saying I want to join Skull. Really? <sighs> Quick, there's an escape tunnel. We can be out of here in no time. And leave the Grand Master. It's about you and me now. But we need him. He's the only one who can tell us every secret Skull's ever had. You're right. I always knew you had the brains of the family. Oscar, come on, this way! you are. I thought you'd abandoned me. We're gonna get you out of here. I got these old jetpacks from the storeroom. You see, Grandmaster? 
I told you Oscar would join us eventually. Now we can rise at the greatest criminal trio ever. What? This confounded thing doesn't work. Mine doesn't either. Uh, yeah. That's because I took the starter motors out. What? Why you? Getting you two in the same place, just in time for the gobstopper to wear off. Oscar, what are you playing at? Yes. What are you playing at? Jade, you're under arrest. Same goes for you. In my eye, nobody move. Yes, nobody move. But I thought we were going to be a family. Oh, get real. Skull isn't a family. Just some loser in a dressing gown. For the last time, it's not a dressing gown, it's a ceremonial robe. We know. You'll pay for that insult. You'll all pay. Goodbye. How do we do that? I hot wired his jetpack. Nobody crosses me and gets away with it. That's the thing about Skull. All such lovely people. Is this what you want? Taking orders from people not even half as good as you. These people, my friends, risk their lives to come and help me. But I know you were tempted. It's not too late to join us. Us. Thanks to your lies, there is no us. Just you and a very lonely prison cell. Take her away. Oscar, please, you don't mean this. Oscar! I'm still your mother! You'll never be alone as long as we're around. You know that, don't you? So, as you can see, Aldovia has a veritable treasure trove. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, everyone's here with their families. Hey, you guys are my family. Cool. Does that mean you'll lend me a tenor then? <laughs> because for this next tune, I'm going to be accompanied on vocals by Mrs. King, dressed as a traditional Baldovian goat herder. <laughs> Mrs. King, you can come out now. Mrs. King. <laughs> Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse.